Shadow, A Parable, by Edgar Allan Poe. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sean Michael Hogan. Shadow, A Parable, by Edgar Allan Poe. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow. Psalm of David. Ye who read are still among the living, but I who write shall have long since gone my way into the region of shadows. For indeed strange things shall happen, and secret things be known, and many centuries shall pass away ere these memorials be seen of men. And when seen there will be some to disbelieve, and some to doubt, and yet a few who will find much to ponder upon in the characters here graven with a stylus of iron. The year had been a year of terror, and of feelings more intense than terror, for which there is no name upon the earth. For many prodigies and signs had taken place, and far and wide, over sea and land, the black wings of the pestilence were spread abroad. To those nevertheless cunning in the stars, it was not unknown that the heavens wore an aspect of ill. And to me, the Greek Oenos, among others, it was evident that now had arrived the alternation of that 794th year when, at the entrance of Ares, the planet Jupiter is conjoined with the red ring of the terrible Saturnus. The peculiar spirit of the skies, if I mistake not greatly, made itself manifest not only in the physical orb of the earth, but in the souls, imaginations, and meditations of mankind. Over some flasks of the red Chian wine, within the walls of a noble hall, in a dim city called Ptolemais, we sat at night a company of seven, and the door was fashioned by the artisan Korinos, and, being of rare workmanship, was fastened from within. Black draperies likewise in the gloomy room, shut out from our view the moon, the lurid stars, and the peopleless streets. But the boding and the memory of evil they would not be so excluded. There were things around us and about of which I can render no distinct account, things material and spiritual, heaviness in the atmosphere, a sense of suffocation, anxiety, and above all that terrible state of existence which the nervous experience, when the senses are keenly living and awake, and meanwhile the powers of thought lie dormant. A dead weight hung upon us. It hung upon our limbs, upon the household furniture, upon the goblets from which we drank, and all things were depressed and borne down thereby. All things save only the flames of the seven lamps which illumined our revel. Sample complete. Ready to continue?